Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a route with the My Route App Editor. Uh, once you're logged into My Route App, please click on New Route. Give your new rate, route a name. I'm going to name this Small Route Course. Uh, My Route is public, but if you want to make your route private, you can do so by clicking here. If you want to make your route only visible for your friends, you can do so by clicking there. Um, if your route is for uh, foot or for hiking, please click so accordingly, but my route is for driving. Okay. Now you will find yourself on the map. It will automatically zoom in on your location. Uh, I'm going to just click on the map here on a road and it asks, do, what do you want to call this waypoint? You can rename the waypoint. You can name it starting point but I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm just going to call this uh, uh, the way it was since that is the address of the waypoint. Okay, so we have one now. Uh, let's say I want to go from here all the way to London and if I type in London in the top left corner, press enter, and it will automatically place a waypoint somewhere in the center of London. Okay, now, this is from the Netherlands to London, so obviously it's going to be a very long route. So just zoom out a bit and you will see that there's waypoint one and there's waypoint two. Um, as you can see in the left hand side, we, ha we have two waypoints. Uh, you can see that the route takes almost six hours and is 507 kilometers long. If you want to view the route in, a, in the street view mode, Please click on the street view and now anywhere where uh, it's blue outlined you will be able to use Google Street View. So let's just zoom in a bit since it's a very blue now and let's just say I want to view my route here. And that's how you use Street View. If you want to exit Street View you can simply uh, click on the top right corner Go full screen, go out of full screen and press on the top left corner on the arrow back. Now it's still blue, just click on the man again and it will be back to normal. All right, so we have the route. Let's click on the left side, route information. This is the name of the route. You can also change it here, change number two, description. A route from the Netherlands to London uh, it's still a public road a uh, public route driving uh, let's publish the route this means that the route is now published to the library which was shown earlier I'm going to like my own route and uh, number of waypoints two, duration, distance. You can also comment on your route. This route was made relatively quick. Point. There are no comments, why not leave one? Well, I just did. Um, favorites, here you can find your favorite uh, waypoints. If you click on a waypoint, like let's say click on the first one, the one in the Netherlands, you will see all these different options. You can click on the star to make it a favorite. You can click on rename the little pencil to rename the waypoint. You can click on zoom in. It will obviously zoom in. You can click on the bed to find a hotel near that waypoint. Just type in the arrival date, the departure date, uh, and fill everything in. Uh, we're not going to do that now, but that's how you find a hotel near the waypoint. It can be very handy when you're on the road, it's getting late, you have to stop and uh, you have to find a hotel quick. There you go. Uh, this is the starting point, but let's go to the second waypoint. Click on the left, waypoints, oh, number two. Now we're in London again, and let's make this the starting point. As you can see, the waypoint will change from number two to number one. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Boom, there you have it. London is now waypoint number one. And the one in the Netherlands is now waypoint number two. 
you can also add a route within your route. So you will have to have the route already in your uh, history. Please click on the left onto routes, press on add. Uh, let's add in this route. As you can see, the route is now shown by red, just to give you an indication that this is in fact a new route. It's not part of the original route. Um, you want to add this route? Let's add it at the end of the original route. Click on the plus sign. Here you can add it. <laughs> I want this at the end of our route. Merge. Now, as you can see, we're going from London to the original waypoint number two over there. And then it dro oh, cancel. Another another great feature is the top uh, bottom left uh, right corner, the undo button. Boom, up, just went back. Now, uh, this is still number two, the waypoint. And uh, as you can see, it just added more waypoints from the route we just merged in. Uh, you can also add in a track, just exactly the same as I just did, and you can add in points of interest. Let's say we need to find a hostel or a hotel. Uh, zoom map to load points of interest. You have to actually zoom in quite, quite a bit in order for the um, points of interest to load in. It can take a while. Please be patient. They will show up eventually. Uh, you have to zoom in quite far the first time but when you zoom out they won't really disappear that quickly as you can see a hotel a hotel and we have a hostel over here and uh, that is the description of a small route in my route app